All right, guys, this is the long-awaited update. Well, what I'm hoping to put together is an all-encompassing long-awaited update. I made the video where I took these injectors and I uncapped them and everyone says they flow, you know, roughly double in the Subaru world. And I said I would send these off to an injector place and get them professionally flowed, dynamic, static, different pressures, everything. And I did just that. And this guy, Eric Durr, who I met through Cameron Powers with the Crown Vic, I sent them to him and he did before and after, like he took them right out of the box and flowed them. And then he did ultrasonic cleaning. He took out, apparently they have filters in the tops of the injectors. I always figured they had screens or something, but I did not know for sure. So this is injectors one through nine, which means I had sent 10, the decap set, a stock one that's not uncapped at all, completely stock for testing to get the stock spray pattern versus this spray pattern versus this flow, just so you can keep up with all of this. And he pulled all the screens and inspected them and installed new screens. He even put new caps and O-rings on a bunch of these injectors, well, all the all of these. The other ones he didn't really mess with. Nah, it looks like he recapped this one too. Yeah, he did that one for me, even though I didn't really need him to. Nice, hell of a nice guy. And then another interesting thing is, there's the screen for the, we are not sure, I have to look up this part number, but number 10 is a shorter, what, what I assume to be the six liter E85 injector, the really big one, because this one at, if we take a look, it flowed number 10, the four hole, we call it the four hole injector, because all the other ones are two hole and it's like a recessed. Now people were saying, can you uncap this one? Uh, that is tricky because uh, look at this, where the O-ring is, is basically where the the cap is i mean if, if you're a really good machinist you could maybe get that out of there but i don't think i can anyway this son of a bitch flowed 51 pounds at 58 psi so whatever these are stock and that part number can we get a good look at it it's 126 13412 these are huge stock chevy injectors 51 pounds at 58 psi but they look like they're very difficult to uncap. So we'll put those aside. What I have here, he even individually bagged everything and numbered them and there's flow rates for the number and he wrote on the injector. So if one flows more than the other, you can put it in perspective cylinders that may be hotter than others. Crazy, I mean, all of this stuff, he did an incredible job and answered a lot of questions over the phone. This is the two hole stock injector uncapped number nine and this guy flowed 24 cc's 28 cc's at 58 psi and it basically puts it right around stock like 25 pound fuel injector which is what everybody you know knows and loves them to be anyway what we have here are all the uncapped guys one through eight and if you didn't see on the other video I ground the caps off and edges off and cleaned them up and I sent these all out to him and they flow even at 43 psi they all flow over 50 pounds so they are at least double the size which is pretty awesome that's incredible and then at if we look at here on the 58 pound per hour side they're all flowing over 70 pounds at four bar. So this is basically, it's roughly like 75 average. There's 73 and a half, 73 and a half, 78, 75, 72, 70 and a half, 72, 78. So quite a swing. They're all approximately 75 pound injector at four bar, which is 58 PSI, basically 60. That's what stock LS fuel pressure is. So incredible to think that this stock fuel injector will Especially if you have a Gen 3 motor and you gotta quit. I like to quit around 550 anyway. What's really incredible is this'll get you there. Well, I really want to, these are Jamie's stock truck injectors and I have a whole other set of woes with that. It's, it's running good now. I'll have to bring up and show you what the issues I was having with that. Some are dumb, some are self-inflicted of course. What's going to be a really neat test is to take the 80s out of her car and put these stock injectors back in that are modified because we don't really have a lofty horsepower goal for that at all. 
pretty cool. And then what I will do is now, after all of this introduction, these are all the injectors from Eric. They all flow, you know, roughly 75 pounds now. And everyone has a fit about the, the spray pattern. The spray pattern. It does modify the spray pattern, absolutely. And then people ask, can an 80 pounder be uncapped? Wow, you know, I'll just uncap my 80s and they'll be 160s. There's an issue with that. 80s don't have a cap on them at all. They are the exact same thing as this. They're exposed pintle or whatever you want to call it. The injector tip is exposed. So they have what's called the pencil spray pattern, which is straight, which is exactly what a Siemens Deca is. So it's funny, people are like, well, if you uncap this one and you get this, you ruin the spray pattern. Well, for boost, the pencil pattern is actually better because it sprays straight down in the valve in a jet. It gets all the fuel down in there while the intake manifold, you know, has all that violent boosted air blowing around in it. This sprays straight down into the valve. So there really is no problem. You're actually, you know, making it better. <laughs> more, more for what you want. I, I don't know. I don't know enough about this advanced stuff where the fan may work better for all motor. I have no idea, or the pencil, because we've done both, and they make similar power, but on an all-out build or some crazy experiment, uh, you may see something different. But what's r incredible is, yeah, you can send all these out to Eric, and I'll show you the tests. And he did two tests, and one is called static, and one is called dynamic. And there's this is interesting. I, I did not know about this until he told me. Basically, static means that you just pulse the injector like wide open and see how much it fills in a certain amount of time. Or you flow it at exactly 50% or so the entire time and you do all the math. Now, when you're driving your car and using the injector, it's going through a dynamic flow rate. It's giving it a lot of injector and then not a lot of injector. And then when you lift gears or do whatever or raise your boost, the dynamic flow is is ma mainly what really shows the difference. Like he says, you can have an injector here, static, that flows 60 pounds. If you say, say I bought a 60 pound injector and on a static test, which was just a set amount of duty cycle and a set amount of pressure, it flowed 60 pounds and all the injectors flowed 60 pounds. Now when you do, you do a dynamic test, he says, you see a big variance sometimes between, now I'm doing this, because in the next video I'm going to show you is all of the injectors in a row filling cylinders showing the flow amount filling up. You'll see, he said during a, a static test, they'll be very close. And sometimes when you do a dynamic test on injectors where the duty cycle varies during the amount of flow, some will be very far off when others are not from the static test versus dynamic because they just don't have the same amount of resolution up and down. Well, what's cool is he did static and dynamic testing on this and they're very close on both. So they're all pretty even. What's really neat is these had about 92,000 miles on them before I sent them to him and they all flowed very well within like two to 4%, like 4% was the maximum difference but within 2% of like the average baseline, all of these flowed. And he cleaned them and everything and they, you know, they're, they're definitely cleaner. They were disgusting, but it didn't seem like they had much of a flow difference. So they weren't clogged up internally at all, which you can see the filters look pretty good other than a little bit of a uh, green crustiness going on. Other than that, I have this nice set here that I'm probably gonna put in Jamie's truck after and uh, We'll see how it does because that's the final part of the experiment is see how they run. Uh, and I'll also preface and say that just like the wastegate, welding the wastegate to the turbine, this is not something new. People have been decapping them quite a bit. Uh, with Dale Follett on the Sloppy Public page, you know, making this a thing and uh, pushing it and using it and experimenting and sharing all of his findings. And Mighty Car Mods did a video where they decap, you know, Subaru injectors. It's very popular with Subaru guys, apparently. So, obviously not something new. Just want to say that. People are like, oh, wow, Slide Mechanics decap injectors are the first. No. <laughs> Chill out with that shit. 
Anyway, yeah, we a little bit more than doubled our injector flow just by cutting the caps off some old crusty truck injectors. And then for a couple bucks, you can send them to Eric and they will come out looking this nice and fresh and clean. Pretty incredible. Can't wait to try them in the vehicle then once everything's ironed out. But then next, in and out of these, in and out of this whole clip, I will show you Eric flowing them. And now one thing you have to remember, I'll, I'll voice over it as much as I can. What's very cool is during the tests he shows all eight and number seven he swapped out with the stocker. So you can see he flows them and number seven is like, it's like less than half. That's not because one's screwed up, it's because he's doing testing with the stock injector with the decapped ones. So that's a neat side of the spectrum you get to see also. So we will jump to the injector pulse test videos and everything else and I will explain that stuff as much as I can and show pictures and all that awesome stuff that Eric agreed to send me pictures and video. What an awesome dude. Okay, this first image here is all of the uncapped injectors, except for number seven, like I said, is the stock injector. So you can see the difference here clearly where they are outflowing the stock injector by at least double. And here is the flow pattern difference with all of the uncapped injectors and number seven again being totally stock. This one is the amount that the four hole injector flows by itself with no modification at 43 PSI. Here we have all the decapped injectors flowing 43 and one half pounds. Here we are measuring the decapped injectors dynamically and this is the as delivered dirty test. And here's the photo after all of the suds and bubbles and everything went down. You can see they're all flowing in the 55 pound range, some a little high, some a little low, but a very small percentage off at 43 PSI. This is just a photo of the spray pattern of all eight uncapped injectors, which is nearly identical to Siemens DECA 80 pounders. Here we are doing ultrasonic cleaning on said decapped injectors. Here we go on our clean dynamic test for all the decapped injectors. Now this is the photo after that video, of course, when all of the suds and foam dissipates and you can see they are flowing just a tiny bit more after cleaning and descreening. Here we have the injectors doing the dynamic test. Once again, I am pretty impressed with the results. Uh, obviously, people will tell you all sorts of shit works, but it's neat to see the facts back this up with over double the amount of flow and 
the spray pattern and everything is fine. It's not, you know, like a fan, but it's pencil, exactly what you would want for this application. I got to thank Eric and Dale and all the guys that, you know, helped me out. And I just read this and people have been doing it forever and decided to do it for fun. And it'll be interesting to see how it goes in the car, but I can't foresee any issues at all. I would say that if you're going to take a super old set of injectors and you're going to decap them, that you should probably send them to Eric, make sure they all flow roughly the same and they're not jammed up internally or something inside. Uh, a little bit of peace of mind for a couple bucks, certainly cheaper than a set of 80s if you do not need them.